Welcome back. We are now going to tackle mutual funds. Uh, this is a special segment which we do every Tuesday. So if you are holding a mutual fund, fund portfolio, which uh, most of you should be as retail investors, please do write in to us and call us and tell us what would you like to know about your portfolio from the very basic questions on mutual fund buying and selling to even you know specific schemes, whether they have outperformed, underperformed, how are those fund houses rated overall. Are they worth staying in those funds or not? All of that on Buy or Sell every Tuesday is what we will take. Let's uh, welcome in Anil Rego. He's the CEO and founder of Right Horizons. He joins us from Bangalore. Uh, Anil, thank you so much for jo joining us on Buy or Sell. The first question is from Anaida from Kanpur. She wants to know at the current market level, what is the ideal debt equity mix for her? And are there any funds that you could recommend from this product mix? Uh, she doesn't give us her age. She doesn't actually tell us what her risk profile is. But I think she perhaps wants to know the answer because markets have run up a lot and a lot of people are concerned Look, you know, with their equity portfolio, whether they should slightly lower down their equity portfolio what would you say sure i think uh, you know it, it's very difficult to come out with a debt equity without understanding you know the risk profile of the investor but uh, you know i would maybe assume uh, somebody who's a middle middle-aged person say about 35 or so and uh, considering where markets are today maybe have a 60 40 you know 60 in favor of equity and 40 on the debt side uh, right, market has actually gone up uh, substantially there, so uh, that is why it's important to have at least that 40% debt. Uh, in terms of fresh investing, I would think that uh, one shouldn't be doing lump sum investing at a time like this, which is very volatile. Uh, I would suggest a systematic investment and what are the funds that one could do, maybe uh, look at a combination of, let's say, uh, large cap and mid cap funds. Large cap funds like, uh, let's say, Templeton India Growth Fund, HDFC Equity Fund, uh, mid cap funds like Sundaram Select Mid Cap, ICSA Discovery, uh, and the debt you can also look at, you know, the uh, fixed maturity plans. One could have some bit of gold in the portfolio. So, uh, in times like these, it's good to have, you know, maybe 5 or 10 percent allocation to gold as well, either through a gold ETF or maybe even a gold mining fund. All right. Uh Another query we have uh, is from Deepak. He's sending us the query from Kolkata. He wants to know would uh, wants to know from Anil. Uh, would you recommend uh, technology funds from ICICI Prudential or DSP BlackRock or any other theme funds for moderately aggressive investor with a one-year time horizon? Uh, again, perhaps not the best time to look at a technology fund, but still, Deepak wants to get into a theme-based fund. Anil, uh, from a thematic uh, point of view, uh, any particular funds out there which perhaps uh, are the ones that are most attractive. Uh, the investor wants to look particularly at the at the sector which focuses on the IT space. Perhaps wants to catch on to the recovery that he has been witnessing the technology sector. Would you? What would you advise him? Sure. I, you know, uh, first of all, I I am normally a little averse to uh, sectoral funds. Uh, sectoral funds should be used by investors who are able to track sectors, track stocks, and you know accordingly move between sectors. You know when one is bullish or bearish on the particular sector. Specifically coming to the technology sector, uh, I think in a reasonably short term, uh, in, you know, if there's market volatility, uh, it may be a good sector to hold because technology will be a bit of a defensive sector. When the market is volatile, the rupee depreciates and that brings benefit to the technology stocks there. Uh, among the funds that you suggested, I would uh, prefer maybe a DSP, uh, BlackRock, technology.com fund. Uh, the fund has a very good track record and a longer term track record. Uh, it has, uh, you know, in the past moved between uh, global IT services, India technology, uh, stocks, etc. So I think uh, that's, that's a good fund to uh, use if one is looking at the technology space. In terms of other sectors, probably, you know, we are a little bullish on the pharma side. Again, being a little defensive there, pharma is probably just one sector that uh, we may be wanting to look at. Anil, thank you very much for answering those questions. Fundamental question there, whether you should be looking at all at sectoral funds. Uh, you know, they can only give you a return kicker, as uh, Anil mentioned. But if you look at how sectoral funds have done over a longer period of time, which is about four to five years, they generally tend to underperform and are also much more volatile than a broader equity or a more diversified equity mutual fund. We'll be back with more mutual fund queries next Tuesday in the interim period. Please do write in to us. We'll help you clean out your 
your portfolio mutual fund portfolios are not as volatile as stock you don't need to look at them every day but you definitely need to look at them once in 6 months and churn them in case you do have some underperformers or duds in that portfolio all right that's a wrap on buy or sell but before we let uh Above we end the show. Here's how you can reach us at these revised timings: 11 a.m. and of course at 1:30 and 4 p.m. every day at these revised timings. And of course, here's how you can reach us at the following contact details: you can SMS us, you can send us an email, you can also call in at the following Delhi and Mumbai numbers.